Hey guys, this is Sam. Today we are going to learn how to create a CSS preloader. Actually, this is the third preloader lesson in the series. But in this lesson, we are going to create a, a, a CSS preloader with the ripple effect. Okay, so let's begin by creating a new file. Ripple CSS preloader. Let me save this file. So this is the fifth video in the CSS tutorials. So my HTML snippet. Okay, let's create a div and with two spans. Yeah. And now let's add a style. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me set this width to thirty pixel. I to thirty pixel. And uh, don't forget display in line block because we don't want to have a block element and position uh, relative because we are going to have absolute childs so these two elements going to be absolute okay let's add styles to the span elements position absolute obviously and this is also inline block and 30 pixel height 30 pixel and I just want to have the background color of black let's see this in browser yes but I don't want to have a square here, so border radius and the percentage. Yeah, now we'll add the animation to this particular preloader. This is the name I'm going to give to this, and I just want to give the uh, delay, I mean, uh, animation duration as one second and linear so infinite if you want to learn this property please watch the last video last two videos i guess yeah and let me add the animations here so the animation name is preloader let me add it here don't confuse with the class name okay so from so transform scale zero and your opacity also 0 0.5 to transform scale one and opacity to zero the maximum opacity is 0 0.5 okay let's see yes you're seeing the animation but actually we have two spans but we are seeing only one right it's because of the animation delay let's add a delay to the second span span and child and two yeah animation delay 0 0.5 second Look at the look at the look at the animation. It's because we have animation delay as 0 0.5 seconds, so it's starting after 0 0.5 second. So let me have a negative value here. So the animation will begin immediately and it will have the state of 0 0.5 second. I think it's very fast. 
let me add two seconds to this oh my god it's very slow i think the animation delay is very less yeah but a little changes to the animation duration yeah this is looking good so you can scale it however you want okay this is how you can create ripple css preloader thanks for watching this video if you want to learn more stuff like this please subscribe to my channel if you want to download this source code please check the description thanks for watching this video bye bye